bring in Tom Holman, a retired ICE director and Fox News contributor. Tom, thank you for being here. Can you add to what we are hearing about this raid, one of the largest single state raids in our country's history? Well, a couple of things. When I was ICE director, I directed the increase of worksite enforcement by 400%. And HSI actually surpassed that about 420 percent. And they're continuing that work today for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a magnet that draws the illegal aliens to our country. If they think they can get here and get by the border patrol and get a job, they keep coming, which, of course, is not only our, one of the reasons our border is out of control, it's, it also puts themselves in harm's way to hire a criminal organization to smuggle them. 31 percent of women are being sexually assaulted. Children are dying. We've got to pull these magnets away. But on this specific operation, something your, your other reporter didn't talk about, this is a criminal operation. P people need to understand that. We're talking about identity theft. We're talking about tax evasion. It's illegal. It's a, it's a, it's a violation of criminal statute to knowingly hire an illegal alien. It is a felony to conceal and harbor an illegal alien in your premises. So this is a criminal investigation that's going to help a lot of U.S. citizens whose identity has been stolen, their credits have been ruined by illegal aliens using their Social Security numbers to get employment. How do you respond to that little girl we just heard from? Um, through her tears, her father was taken away in this raid. She said, my dad didn't do anything. He's not a criminal. It pulls at your heartstrings when you hear that. It, it, you know, it does, and I've done this for, you know, over three decades. And look, immigration enforcement is always controversial, is emotional. But you know what? The blame needs to be placed on her father. Her father came to this country illegally. He brought his child here illegally. Whether he brought her here illegally or she was born here, he put his family in the position of being here illegally in violation of our laws. He should have took better action to protect his family. But let me explain what ICE does in an operation like this. Is he, if he's a sole care provider, he's a parent, there's no other parent available or any relative available, he will be released on an ankle bracelet to go home and take care of his child. No child is going to be left unattended. If there's another parent there, the dad may stay in custody. If there isn't, he'll be released. ICE, during their interviews, that all these employees will ask them, one of the first questions we're going to ask them, is there children at home under the age of 18? Where are they? How can we contact them? So ICE does an awful lot to make sure these kids are taken care of. Again, it's sad. Separations happen all the time. It happens to U.S. citizen families when American, American citizens get arrested. They get separated. It's unfortunate. It's sad. But you can't blame the men and women of ICE who are enforcing laws enacted by Congress. And for Congressman Castro to come out and say this is about hate and a fear message to immigrants, he needs to read the, the very laws Congress enacted that makes it a crime to knowingly hire let legal me, aliens. Let me get his ICE words in here so you can respond further. Laws. Here is Joaquin Castro's statement on these ICE raids, saying, quote, let's be clear, ICE raids of this scale are not conducted for the purpose of immigration enforcement. They're to strike fear in our communities in a time when Latinos are already living in terror. Continue Continue with your response to Joaquin Castro. He is wrong. He, he, is, he, is, he, is, he is so wrong. This is about enforcing the immigration law. This is about laws that Congress enacted. I think Congress is in the habit of, of, of creating laws, enacting laws that they didn't want to enforce. As a lawmaker, he needs to do one thing. He needs to go back and read the very statutes that Congress wrote about illegal immigration and, and harming illegal immigrants. He's a lawmaker. If he don't like it, change it. But don't vilify the men and women who strap a gun to every day to do the job that Congress expects them to do. I want to I so end, again, I wanna end with this criticism from Donna Brazil, former interim uh, chair of the DNC. She joined us uh, last hour, I should say 9 o'clock hour, and said this. I woke up thinking about the little children in Mississippi who are getting up this morning without a parent, uh, through no fault of their own. I know their parents may be here, you know, with no documentation, but still they have no body uh, to, to bathe them, to comb their hair, to send them off to school. And yet, did the owners of that facility, were they arrested? Were they arrested? Can you address that, Tom? Yes, the owners are under criminal investigation, absolutely. And that, yeah, children, I said earlier, children, will, the ICE will make sure the child has some sort of uh, uh, day, uh, daycare provider. But They're let me under read this message. They're under investigation or were they arrested? This is a criminal investigation. They're going to have to prove the charges in district court. But let me, let me end with this that if the message we want to keep sending the rest of the world is, you come to the United States illegally, get a job, and because it may be sad or unfortunate, you get separated from your child for a time while you're being processed, if that's a message we want to send, that we're not serious about forcing immigration laws, you're never going to solve the border crisis. More women are going to be raped. More children are going to die. And criminal cartels get richer 
the same cartels that have murdered border patrol agents. Mm -hmm. So you can't have it both ways. Either we enforce law, we don't. Not enforce law means open borders, and this country doesn't want open borders. So just to, to be clear, I'm sorry to harbor this. The owners of the facilities were they taken as well? I, I do not know that for sure. I can tell you that what I know, this is a criminal investigation uh, that, this, that started on identity theft, tax evasion, you know, harboring. So if, the, if they can prove a case against them, they will be charged. I mean, almost yeah. all worksite investigations start as a criminal investigation and ends with a prosecution of those who knowingly hire illegal aliens. I know that we will uh, be digging into this and find a lot, out a lot more in coming days. We appreciate you coming on to react this morning. Tom Holman, thank you. Thank you.